And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Well guys, it's still the international break, we haven't even really got it started yet and uh, I already want to, uh, to see a Rangers game uh, creep up on our screens, but look, of course, uh, international breaks have to happen, but that doesn't stop the news and the exodus that comes out of Ibrox, uh, and today we're going to be giving you a bit of a, a Rangers round up if you like as yes another person has left uh, Rangers uh, we've got a bit on Ali McCoy so we've got a bit on Kemar Roof and um, I also quickly want to uh, disclose funnily enough uh, people saying uh, yes I said it was, it was in Thailand in a video and people were saying lady boys Calm down, troops. I don't do ladyboys. That's not uh, my thing. You know, you can come to Thailand for what? The beautiful beaches, the beautiful scenery, the amazing weather. But no, some of you guys jumping on the fact that apparently I'm powering through ladyboys. I'll have you know I do have a girlfriend. Uh, but thank you for the analysis. Uh, of uh, me, you know, swarming around ladyboys. Not really my thing, but uh, says a lot about some of the subscribers. Nah, I'm only joking. But yeah, uh, moving on to sort of Rangers news, guys. Uh, Rangers icon, Ali McCoy. He's uh, become a bit of a, a hero amongst everyone at this moment in time. Um, and his latest venture, apparently, um, is I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Um, again, look, apparently... Um, he was sort of shot up to stardom, really, down south in the English Premier League. We always knew he was uh, some character playing for Rangers, great goal scorer, great player, uh, just a great guy, great personality. And now, obviously, the English media have taken him on, obviously uh, appearing at TalkSport, pretty much every single channel he's on right now. And he's like one of the main commentators on like TNT Sports, like the Champions League. And uh, everybody seems to love him, except from one side um, in Glasgow, across the river somewhere. Um, but again, he's um, going, uh, recently just got an OBE, and now apparently in advanced talks to go on to I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. So uh, yeah, follows in the footsteps of um, other people that have went onto the show. I think Harry Redknapp went on there and his level of fame in the mainstream media took a, another step forward so uh, yeah probably going to be seeing a lot more of Ali McCoy on your TV shows outside of the football world uh, because he is a character to be perfectly honest and, and once he wins that show probably um, he'll probably be getting gig after gig but yeah away from the Rangers stuff but yeah good to see Ali McCoy doing well um, at, at, in his, his post career post manager real career um so yeah great to see on that sort of set uh, that sort of side um in other news guys the rangers exodus is carrying on as craig robertson has become the latest high profile figure to quit ibrox after resigning from his position as director of football operations um as stated uh, rfc news understands that robertson will leave the club just after 18 months in the role it is believed that robertson will depart before the end of the year to pursue new opportunities away from ibrox uh, robertson was of course promoted as a part of the the major reshuffle that former chairman John Bennett conducted last summer. James Bisgrove lasted just one campaign as chief executive officer before taking up a post in Saudi Arabia, while Bennett stepped down from the board last month due to health concerns. John Gilligan was appointed as interim chairman to steady the club at boardroom level and oversee the search for a new CEO. Now Robertson's position at Ibrox will also need to be filled at a time when Rangers remain in the market for a head of academy to replace Zeb Jacobs. Gilligan spoke, of course, uh, to the media for the first time last month as he addressed a range of issues um, amid comments from Dave King calling for an EGM to be held as he seeks to return to the Ibrox board. Uh, Gilligan now has another item on his to-do list uh, and basically um, that is sought out this position. Um, of course, Gilligan does see a bit uh, committed of course to the cause and wants to try and sort things out but yes another guy has left his position that of course being Craig Robertson so again the exodus is continuing it just goes to show actually sometimes when we do have a bit of reservation about uh, Philippe Clement and all this sort of stuff he's having to deal with this mess uh, everyone jumping ship at this moment in time no one committed and you can't run a football club like that look at Manchester United failing for years because they're just a circus up top in the in the department you look at well-run football clubs, Manchester City, Liverpool, um, uh, Brighton recently. These are all well-run football clubs and it reflects on the pitch as well. We're a fucking mess at the moment. Well, we're a mess on the pitch a little bit, but that's probably one of the better sides to our game at this moment in time. 
up in the boardroom, we are in absolute, it's an absolute circus. So this needs to be sorted. And, and I would underestimate as a supporter that it does affect uh, the ongoings on the pitch and having to ongoing with Philippe Clement, not having someone in a position that he can run to, go and speak to. We've got, it's an absolute mess at this moment in time in the boardroom and that needs to be sorted by the end of the season. We need to get it sorted. In fact, by the end of the year, get it sorted, get the positions filled and get people that are committed to this football club. But as you can see there, guys, the exodus continues um, as another man has jumped ship and has left. So, so frustrating, frustrating, but then you also got to sympathize with Philippe Clement because that's what he's got to deal with, that circus. This is just the, the stuff that we're getting. Uh, you know, God knows what's going on up there at this moment in time, but they're a circus. And to be fair, it's good that they're all getting gutted out because they were shite at the job anyway. Um, after 55, have absolutely uh, been falling asleep at the wheel. In fact, they've been drinking at the, drinking and sleeping at the wheel because some of their decisions they've been making have been absolutely woeful from top to bottom. So, uh, yeah, I, another one out, but now it's about the shake-up. We need to get people in um, that are committed to the club that are going to take us into the right direction. So, uh, yeah, Craig Robertson is the latest to leave in the exodus. Now, in another news, guys, uh, Kimar Roof, still a free agent at this moment in time. Um, again, left Rangers, of course, at the expiry of his contract. And I always said about Kimar Roof, if he didn't have injuries, he would probably have been the best player in Scotland, in the best striker in Scotland during his time in Scotland. Um, genuinely do believe that. I know there were some great players uh, that were there. You know, you think of the likes of Alfredo Morelos, you think of Sholak, you think of people that have come and gone, Jermaine Defoe at some point. Um, all of these sort of players, um, even at the other side of the city, Edward and... Um, I can't remember all their strikers that they have, but um, Kyogo uh, and then Aberdeen Mivioski, Lawrence Shanklin the Hearts. I genuinely do believe Kimar Roof was probably the best striker ability wise. He just made out of wheat bix The guy was literally made out of wheat bix and was injured every single week. Barring those issues, he would have been the best striker in the league. I have no doubts about that. Uh, but again, still a, a bit of a curious case with regards to him. He's still without a club at this moment in time um, and still a three agent. Um, so as I stated, uh, four months after leaving, uh, where he did score 38 goals from 50 starts at Rangers. That just goes to show his goal scoring record. I know sometimes he came off of the bench, but 38 goals in 50 starts for Rangers. That ain't bad for considering a guy is always getting up to speed. Uh, but as I said, he was rumoured to be uh, sort of training with Oxford United earlier in the summer. Uh, but manager Des Buckingham said back in August that those were false, that he could be joining the club. Uh, but it seems it's gone very quiet this moment in time for Kimar Roof on finding him a new club. At the moment in time, we, we don't know what's happening. Uh, there's other been uh, reports loosely reporting him to or linking him to Plymouth. But again, nothing on that matter. And it's, uh, it's an interesting story to see what's going to happen in Kimar's next steps. But remember that, 38 38 goals and 50 starts. That ain't bad for a player that was constantly injured. And that just goes to show what could have been if he didn't have those injury problems. To be fair, he probably wouldn't have been at Rangers if he didn't have those injury problems. Uh, but Rangers fans, that's all I've got for you. Make uh, Let me know your thoughts on the, the situation with regards to the... Um, the exodus that's currently going on uh, and let me know your thoughts on, on everything down there in the comment section below hit the like hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next time take care